Everyone wants to rank up in Rocket League, but one of the most difficult aspects of ranking up is figuring out what you can do to help yourself improve. Sure, you can spend time doing training packs, free play, and even workshop maps, but none of those really give you a game-like feel. And even though you can do things in those training situations, sometimes when you get into the real thing, it can be a lot more difficult to pull things off. So today, we'll be showcasing what I do to get myself ready to play that has also helped skyrocket my rank over the last week. Now the first thing you want to do when you hop onto Rocket League for the day is just hop into free play for like 5 minutes and get used to the feel of the car and how it interacts with the ball. You don't want to spend too much time in here because we have much more important things that we want to spend our time doing, but for the first five minutes when we first get on, we do want to make sure that we are used to how the car feels and making sure that we have good contact on the ball. So we're going to go ahead and run through this for five minutes and then we'll be back once we finish this up. So now what exactly are we going to be doing that is going to help us skyrocket our ranks so much? Well, I'm sure that if any of you have talked to any higher rated players, one of the most common pieces of advice you'll hear is that you should really spend some time playing more 1v1. Now, I for one have received that advice a ton throughout my Rocket League career, but I've always struggled with actually getting myself to play them. That is, until recently. You see, at the start of the newest season, I began to play 5 1v1s before I hopped into any other ranked playlist, and the difference I have noticed in my gameplay since that point has been astronomical. So today, we're going to be hopping into our 5 1v1s me ones as our warm-up and we'll be discussing why it's so useful and then seeing the impact that it has in 2v2 as well. So as we get started here, let's kind of discuss why 1v1 is so useful in terms of a warm-up. Well, if you consider the differences that you get in a 1v1, you'll notice that you'll be able to warm up every aspect of your game. As we see this situation here, we're on defense. Well, this is not a situation that we get as we fail at it. This is not a situation we get, though, in, like, free play. Yeah, there's training packs and things like that that we could use, but it really doesn't simulate the real thing of having to read what your opponent is trying to do, which is one of the most important parts of the game. And right here, more control. Good attempt there. Again, right there, we don't get those opportunities to try to outplay our opponents, nor do we get to practice our decision making. So then when we go into an actual game, what a shot. Unfortunately, that was off target. We're just going to get the block there. When we go into an actual game, though, it's a lot more difficult to switch our brain into playing with all these other ideas in mind because we haven't warmed them up as we got going for the day. So it's very important to utilize this time to just start to work on every aspect of your game that you're going to use in every ranked playlist. So things like decision making, first touches, reading your opponent, things like that are all very, very important aspects that we're going to warm up here. And now the second big important thing is that we're not going to care about wins and losses. Like sure, it'd be great to win our games, everyone wants to win their games, sure, of course, but in this situation, it is really not what we're going for. That's an unfortunate bounce. We're just gonna work to make sure that we are getting ourselves prepared to play overall, so that's what we're gonna do. Now, the other question is why would we play like th five 1v1s? Why not like three or two or any other number? And the answer is you can probably play anywhere between three and five. If you only play like one or two, it's really not enough time to get yourself fully warmed up. Three, you start to get to a pretty good point. I myself prefer five just because it's the longest that I can kind of justify spending in 1v1 before, you know, you start to lose any actual gain from it. But anywhere between that should be perfectly fine to, to use. Go ahead and get that flick around. Very nice. So yeah, just anywhere between three and five, whatever feels right to you. For me, five feels right in the sweet spot. Nice and, and tight for, for how I feel after I finish it up. But yeah, just go through whatever feels right to you and just focus on making sure that you're warming up all the important aspects of your game. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and run through these games and then we'll go ahead and hop into some twos and see what kind of difference 
this makes in our gameplay. So admittedly not the best games of ones from myself, but this is exactly why we're utilizing them to warm up. So many times we hop into what is our main playlist too quickly, and it results in us making all of those mental mistakes that we made in the ones games, which then means we are starting the rank session just heading in a downwards direction, which just absolutely kills your confidence and motivation. So now that we've hopefully got all of those issues out of the way in those ones games, let's hop into some rank 2v2 and see if we can put this warm up to good use. Now the good news about having a bit of a bad sequence in ones means that you got plenty of good practice on defense, which at the end of the day is one of the most important aspects of the game. So let's see what we can do here. Pop coming through from the opponent. That's fine. Gonna be a hard bounce. Just wait to see what happens here. We're getting bumped, but that's fine. Free ball here. Never mind. Teammate confused me, but he should have control on that side, so it should be all right. Go ahead and get the challenge here. Teammate will be back in time. Just flip on back here. No reason to panic around the field. See where this guy goes. Up into the air. We get the beat over the top. Recover quickly here. Get the challenge as well. Gonna be out of boost here. Just go ahead and swing across. Pick up some full boost. Wait to see what happens here. Go ahead and challenge that quickly. Into the net it goes. Good use of our recognition of the awkward touch from the opponent. And we can go ahead and dive right in on it. Good start for us in the first 40 seconds. Nice and easy so far. Around me, but teammate's right there. No worries. Teammate's going to keep going. Make sure we don't get bumped here. He's going to have boost to work with. See what he's got. So 50 across. Too dangerous for me to dive for. No worries, though. We'll just catch this. Force out the 50 here on the wall. Should be fine. Teammate's right there. Make sure we get back behind him for this ball to come back across. Go ahead and pinch it out with him. Bit awkward. Could have just let him go, but it works out. Go for some control here. Just force out. Teammate doing a good job of getting the fakes here. Pop it back in. Let him go where he's not going to. That's fine. We'll go ahead and put a shot in. Not quite on target. We have dove a little bit here. Not on target yet. Still not on target. And now it is unfortunate. Not much that I could really do there. Was way too far out of the play. Shouldn't have probably dove that hard into the corner, but all good. It's fine. Teammate should have win. He does. Let's get out of here. Teammate might challenge on the wall. Here he comes. Ooh, jeez. Nope. Go ahead and get in contact with this. Force out the 50. Pop it high. Teammate there. Good demo. I'm not going to win that race. That's not on target. We don't need to panic. Don't panic. Let's calmly take control. Don't need to do anything special. Bump him out. Oh, no. That is so unfortunate. I thought teammate was going to be right there. When I saw him, I just misjudged the distance he was from the ball. Did not mean to get that touch. And it's completely my fault. Unfortunate. Teammate, though, does win this ball. See what he's got. Have beat here. We got beat out, though. Unfortunate. Go ahead and pick up some boost. Teammate does win that. Force out. Look for some bumps, maybe. Gonna turn aggressively here. Go ahead and get the challenge. Coming mid. This guy's jumped really early. Teammate unfortunate. Dang, that is a bit sad. Not gonna lie. We largely controlled that game too, which is one of the most important things that we can do. We made a lot of good decisions, I think. Just that one unfortunate accidental touch right back towards our own net around our teammate. Unfortunate that it ends like that, but still a very solid game one. Still feel very good in the decisions we're overall making. So let's go ahead and hop into another one and see if we can bounce back here in game number two. Feeling, Still feeling very good. Still feeling very confident. Not a bad game one, and that's the important thing. That's not a great kickoff from me. 
Teammate's in a bad spot. Well done, teammate. He did get the other corner, so he should be fine here. Gonna go ahead and put in a challenge, because teammates backed off. Don't want to give up that free touch. Go ahead and pick up some pads here. Teammates right on this. We'll move up with them. Play this around. Force them across. Not gonna have a touch. Let's just go ahead and bail out, pick up some boost. Teammates first on this challenge. Very nice. We'll control across. Not really, really control there, but sure. Get the challenge. Pop it high. Double. Not quite. Teammate wins, though. We lose the boost, but that's fine. We'll go ahead and grab this one. Go under him. Not quite. Take their boost. Teammate has free ball here. He doesn't get bumped as well. This guy's going to be low boost back. Teammate has a great opportunity here. Nice! Well done, teammate. Knew the second that teammate had control there that the last man back was going to be in trouble because I took that corner boost. Well done by teammate there to go ahead and force that ball through. See if I can grab the boost. Not quite. Teammate's going to have it, actually. That's fine. He's got control. That's on target. Nice! Okay, well... You know, glad glad he got the boost overall. Glad, fantastic that he got it. Maybe I gave him a little bit of a speed boost there towards that mid boost to help him out. Force 50. Pop over the top. Look for the demo. Not going to find it. Out we go. 48 seconds to go. Teammate should have challenge here. He does. Teammate should have mid boost and ball possession. Make sure we don't get bumped here. Nice control teammate. See what he's got. Over to the side. 30 seconds. Teammate got that corner boost. We're just going to wait back. Shot should be coming on here. There it is. And yeah, just take some time. Around one. 50 a second. Take the boost here. Go ahead and get back for my teammate who is in a bit of trouble. Uh, boy. Uh, we're fine. No, we're totally fine. That was a bit risky on my part, but 12 seconds. Should be just about good here. Going to fake off this. Not give up a free net if I mess it up. Force it high. There it goes. Trying to get a bump here. Good save, teammate. That's going to do it. Well done. Nice game two there from us. Not the greatest performance in terms of overall score in, in the game. But realistically, we also didn't make any real mistakes. We had a couple situations where we got demoed out, of, demoed out of the play when we probably didn't need to. Maybe caught in a couple awkward situations. But overall, our ability to just maintain good spacing and good positioning on the field and making sure that we challenged the balls that we needed to challenge led to us getting a fairly easy win here in game number two. So let's hop into one more and see if we can go two and one on the day and further prove how good warming up in this way really is. Interesting kickoff. I'm not going to go for that. It's too risky. And allows us to get back, so we're fine. I'm going to get beat to this as well. We'll just play patient. Force out. Unfortunate teammate. Not able to get that save. I probably could have done a bit more on that initial challenge. Teammate was probably fairly low boost, although he might have gotten the mid boost. But all good. Only 10 seconds in. Not a problem. We're beat to this hardcore. It's fine. We'll go ahead and play it out to the side. That's an awkward touch there from this guy. Teammate and I are both here. I'm just going to go back. I don't want to be in an awkward spot here. Teammate's got the clear out anyway. Go ahead and take a pad or two here. Opponent's up, but again, not a threatening area. Go ahead and get that clear. Flip down field, apply pressure. Bump this guy off as well. Gonna be slow back here. Teammate should be all right. And he is. Nice block as well. Not on target, but all good. Go ahead and take some pads here. See what we got. Control through the air from this guy. He's gonna come down though. Here he comes. Just take that off of him. Force out the bump. Sure. Yeah, why not? Bring this around town. Bump this guy out. Unfortunate. Close. Let's go ahead and get ourselves out of here. Take the boost. Go back. On the backboard. One touch from teammate. That should be fine. We would have just chipped that forward, so all good. Teammate with the control. Play that over to the side. Uh, Yeah, that works. Bit of an awkward ball. Oh, no. Well, it didn't work as well as I had hoped. I, I thought that maybe one of us would just jump up here, but we both kind of did the same thing. I probably should have just jumped. Unfortunate. Down two. Two minutes in. Not the end of the world. See what we can do here. Uh, we can pass it to our teammate, I guess. Yeah. See what he's got. Up into the air he goes. Good attempt. Teammate through the air once again. Going for the bump. Oh, just can't get there in time unfortunate get ourselves back out take some boost 
Teammate again looking for the bump. This time he gets it. Let's go. Good stuff, teammate. Pop towards the net. Not on target. Unfortunate. Uh, we're low boost here. Gonna go ahead and get back. Teammate should have a challenge here. He does. Go ahead and get that passed. Here we go. Pretty open path here. Oh, dang. Unfortunate. Almost got that 50 in. That is a massive double commit. Holy double. Uh-huh. Nice. Let's go, teammate. Here we got Rogue. Looks like he might be low boost here. Go ahead and cut this off. Teammate not there in time. Unfortunate. Boost is here for us, though. So let's take that. Teammate off the ceiling. Utilize the space that we have here. Pop it forward. 50 it around. 50 it out. Not quite. Teammate gets beat. Ah, it's just in the net. Unfortunate. What do you want me to do here exactly? <laughs> you only have... You have less than 50 points more than me. What? What is bro on about? Like, it's not like I've done nothing in this game. I've missed a boost. I've, I've certainly done that. Uh, okay, we're gonna be back within one just like that. Nice, nice and easy, I guess. Let's stay locked in. We got plenty of time. See if teammate wants to go for some control here. Interesting kickoff. Play it over to him. Here he goes. Keep it in. Teammate turn. Nice! Let's go! Okay, see, there we go. We've done something. Look at us. I thought he missed. Not gonna lie, I thought he banged it into the crossbar. But we take those. Good finish by teammate. Let's lock it in for the overtime. We got this. Good kickoff. We're not gonna win that race, though, so we'll just go back. Now, obviously, a quality warm-up is not going to guarantee that you are going to win your games, but it is going to guarantee that you give yourself the best chance possible while continuing to improve your game every single day. After just a week of playing consistent 1v1s before hopping into 2v2, I was able to jump from low 1500 to low 1600 in MMR. And of course, there's still going to be fluctuations from day to day. Some days you're simply going to be off your game, but if you utilize this strategy to warm up, it is the most consistent method to get yourself ready to play. Of course, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate each and every one of you that made it to this point in the video, and I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you click that subscribe button right down below so you make sure you don't miss any future Rocket League content. Additionally, if you'd like to be a bit more involved in the community we're building here, feel free to join my Discord, which I'll have linked down in the description. And as always, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. See you later, guys.